Oh, it's been so long, but I finally got an easy result for you guys. So today's video is a bit interesting because I'm testing a pretty, I would say, problematic motherboard. Um, this is the Z90 formula from the very first batch of DDR5 Intel motherboards. And I think this is a board a lot of you guys might own or perhaps you own something in the lineup. Um, I would put this board on par with the Z690 Hero, the Z690-F, and probably um, maybe even the ITX board. Um, with regards to the Hero and the Extreme, they use a different PCB, a very different PCB, like topology basically, and it's a very different experience depending on the bin you get of those boards. Uh, but anyway, this board should perform roughly on par with the Z690 Hero and the Z690-F. Uh, I would say this board is probably about 400 mega transfers worse than the Z790 uh, Hero and formulas. So yeah, this board isn't the best, but it is obviously a decent value nowadays. You can pick them up for about maybe like 300 to 400 dollars, depending where you live. In South Africa, the going rate for them is around you know 400 dollars. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so I'm just gonna say like I the moment I got my chip and the moment I booted up I immediately um, disabled IABT and I disabled the multi-core enhancement which basically means I enforced all limits and I did this because in our Africa, South African summer right now um, even at 2am you can see the ambient temp right now is about 29 degrees ish um, I have my aircon here it helps a little bit but it barely helps at all um, so I have to keep the CPU pristine and honestly like I don't feel like dealing with issues so I just decided to leave the CPU at stock with limits enforced and I have a small undervolt um, and basically what happens is the CPU just runs as oh, also there's something else we do which is now you change all the VF curve points to negative um, it's kind of weird that that makes a difference but it does apparently help the CPU stick to like the lowest possible vid curve but anyway so yeah, my CPU is currently running like, you know, as I guess efficiently as possible in like under in, in the limits. Like it never runs above. I mean, it barely even gets the 240 watts package power, which is great because degradation happens like, you know, in the 270 range. So I'm way below that. Um, the AIO has been all right. Uh, the Ulti 720. Um, and otherwise, you know, I, I had 6800 running, but it was like, barely unstable instead of trying to stabilize i went straight to 7000 and yeah 7000 actually wasn't that hard to stabilize it, i mean it wasn't easy um eventually i ended up having to raise the dram voltages so currently i'm at 1.5 on the dram voltages i'm at 1.475 on the vdd2 rail now problem is with this board it can't run more than 1.475 1.5 actually causes crashes now yeah you can see on some aces boards um, well, actually, most ASUS boards, you'll find that every single board has a limit. It's not a sweet spot because the spot isn't sweet. The higher you can run, the better your data rates. And with the 1.475 volt VDD2 limit on this board, that literally means that anything above 1.5 volts required on this rail, and any data rate that requires more than this to run, uh, like Wire Cruncher, for example, you're not going to run it. So it means that like this is the voltage like whatever i can run with this voltage is the, that's it like this voltage is the most i can run which means that realistically speaking these voltages are pretty much maxed out because guys, remember that 1.475 set in this bios actually translates to more like 1.45 as you can see it even says so it doesn't even run 1.475 at idle the v droop is immediate on the rail and so when you're running loads it goes down to like 1.44 so realistically guys like Depends on the board, obviously, but for me on this board that I have, and it might be a lot of you guys at home as well. Um, yeah, like 1.475 is the most I can set, and that takes it down quite far in actual operation. And that means you have a very set limit on the data rate. Because like I said, the more VD2 you can run, generally speaking, the higher the data rate you can stabilize on the board. That's pretty much how it translates. Just the, you know, a, you know, broad stroke. Anyway. Um TX 1.3 was more than enough for 7,000, and I see so many guys running 1.45, 1.4. 
No, man. TX 1.3 is perfect. I mean, if you have TX too high, you're going to retrain badly. It's going to corrupt It's gonna corrupt the training cycle. I'm not, just, I'm not sure what happens, but it does. TX too high, like, sort of, like, it sort of sabotages the training cycle. I'm, I'm not sure why it happens, but it does. Um, SA needs to be as, as high as it needs to be and no, no higher. So this set too high will also cause instability. So 1.15 is a no-go. 1.1 is perfect. Um, and then for my DRAM settings for the ADI I have, um, I'm just on Maximus Tweak Mode 2. I've always used Mode 2. Mode 2 is better. Um, I've just got 32 casts. I've got some basic TRCD and TRP timings. It's 42s. Nothing, nothing too impressive. Can't run much lower than that, actually, unfortunately, on these like on these sticks. Uh, 28 T RAS because it seems to be handling it fine. And then I have actually my subset quite low. I don't know if it's the kit that's doing it or the IMC, but um, I found that the subs run quite well with lower values, so I can run 84, which is also which I mean, which is always a nice thing. I mean, it's always nice to run 84. It's something you don't see every day anymore, so it's it's quite nice when your setup actually can sustain 84. Um, I've got 420 to 50. That's because I want 120 nanoseconds on TRFC2 and 100 nanoseconds on same bank. I've got 32767. Why? Because the sticks run up to 55 degrees in our cursed summer, and so I cannot run more than 32767. Otherwise, I have uh, data loss in the cell due to heat. Um, TWR is 12 right now. I'm not too sure. Like, uh, I don't know. It's a weird one. I just have it to 12. Um, matching TRTP. I, I mean, you could try that. You could do 48. I mean, I don't know. But I'm using 12 right now. Um, I have T4 to 16. Um, obviously because of uh, TRDS. And um, I'm using 4 TCK. Uh, I'm leaving right latency auto just so it can run negative 2 uh, with CAS. And then I have um, just the basic timings. Um, yeah, you know, just the basic tertiaries. I I mean, I'm using the tertiaries now for these to set them. Not not because you have to, just because I felt like I didn't feel like running. Well, I didn't feel like typing it into to years, so I just set them there. But whatever. Um, these are very doable. Um, very easy actually. And then I tried something new. Um, this is something I found at OCN that um, Nizen recommended. But basically, I I added the 126 uh, CTL VREF up for the data rate. And then I also, because I was getting desperate, you guys can see I was getting desperate. I put in the magical ODTs. So I've got the magical ODTs running right now. 34, 48, 48, 40, 34. Yep, the magical ODTs, guys. They're running and they're working. They're actually doing work, which is fucking incredible. incredible. Yep, the magical termination settings, just magical. They always work. They always work, guys. Absolutely magical. They work on every single platform, on every single board. Tested them on Ryzen, tested them on Intel, Gigabyte, EVGA, Asus, fucking MSI, bro. It's actually incredible how, like, those ODTs work for every platform. I mean, they're magic. They're literally magic, dude. And then, Tweakers Paradise. Um, I just have the PLLs set to 1.02 on SA and MC. Um, just desperation again, but they work, so whatever. So anyway... And uh, yeah, otherwise, that's about it. So if you need to get your A die, A die, not M die, M die tops out at six thousand six hundred on these, this tier of motherboard. So this like Z six ninety Hero Formula Dash F tier board, six thousand six hundred M on on sixteen gigabit M die, on A die, as I expected, seven thousand is doable. It's not super easy, but it's doable. Um, you can try these settings, or you can try something similar. You can work around them, but um, 7,000 is doable on the series of board with 8i, and funny enough, on the converse side, MDI on the Z790 boards run 7,000. So what you find is like there's like a 400 mega transfer difference with each like skew. So from MDI to ADI on this like class of Asus board, it's 400 mega transfers on average, and then on like on um, MDI on the new Asus boards is like 400 better than this class of boards and then a die on those boards is 7400 which is 400 better than this class of boards and then the new m die 24 gigabit m die is about 400 better than the a die so it means i could probably run 7400 on this board with the new 24 gigabit m die and possibly 
possibly 78 on the new boards however probably not it, it, it could do it could do but it would take a lot of testing and i would say 76 would be a much more realistic target for those boards for like the dark hero and stuff and like the z790 hero because realistically speaking the dark hero and the, and the hero are the exact same fucking board because um we know that the encore is not any better than the fucking white apex so obviously aces did not improve topology obviously that's like i mean how could the topology have improved it's impossible like, it's impossible but anyway whatever um so yeah topology could not have improved and yeah i mean look i want to say that the new mdi should hit 78 on the new boards but it probably doesn't it probably it's like 76 and then like let's say for the formula like the new formula might hit 76 so my formula might hit 72 on the mdi i would say uh, i mean if this hit 74 on the new mdi which i will test by the way when i get a kit i'll get a kit i'll, I'll try and find one uh, currently there's none for sale in our country locally like any decent ones there aren't any for sale like they're all out of stock so it sucks whatever um i'll try the new mdi on this series of boards to see if you guys that own these boards like the hero and the the formula and the and the dash f and stuff um if you guys like what you guys kind of numbers can be like what you can shoot for um i'll see but yeah um 7000 is doable on the, the formula with a die and yeah it might even be 7400 maybe on the new m die um which is i mean honestly that would be a great result i mean that would be awesome but yeah um that's about it guys that's all i have for today and uh hope you guys find this helpful so yeah i'll see you guys uh hopefully soon